Hello everyone. So today we are going to study about the poem that is The Rainbow. Okay. So the poem The Rainbow is written by Christina Rossetti. Christina Rossetti. Okay. So today we'll discuss, we'll go through the poem The Rainbow. So what exactly is rainbow? Rainbow is what is seen in the sky that is very colorful. So we see it in a bent shape that is bridge shape. Okay. It is a bent U shape. Okay. So in that case we see different colors in that bridge shaped rainbow. Okay. So we see with GR that is V I B G Y O R. So all these seven colors are present in the rainbow. So it is Whenever it rains, we see a rainbow, okay? So, that rainbow is beautiful, okay? So, it contains those colors, that is, with GR colors, that is, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. So, there are about seven colors in the rainbow, okay? So, it is, here, we are studying about how beautiful is rainbow, okay? So, the poet, that is Christina Rossetti, has written about a um, poem where she where she is expressing her feelings towards the sky, its, uh, nature, uh, its nature, that is beauty of a rainbow or natural beauty as compared to anything is precious about everything. So, in this case, what we are studying is, first let me go through, a, first let me introduce you to a poet, that is about the poet. So, let's know about the poet. So, about the poet. So, poet is Christina Rossetti. So, Christina Rossetti is basically, she is an English poet. Okay. So, she is an English poet and she has written many romantic, devotional and children's poems. Okay. So, she has written romantic, devotional and children's poem. And her uh, duration was from 5th December 1830 to 29 December 1894. Okay. So, she is an English poet who has written many children's poems. Also, she has written romantic and then devotional songs. Okay. Or poems. So, here... We'll see what exactly is about the rainbow, what we are going to see in this poem. So, I'll, I'll give an introduction. So, here the poet, that is Christina Rossetti, has said that the nature is precious above all. Nature is beautiful, okay? So, what she says here is, nature is, we are blessed with nature, okay? Natural things where man-made things are also present, okay? But nothing matches the level of a nature, okay? So, in that case, what she is trying to say is, she is saying that whatever that is existing naturally is beautiful as compared to artificial ones. So, artificial ones are, which are the artificial ones? The ones which man made, okay? The ones which uh, human beings make. So, those are artificial ones. So, what here poet saying is, she is saying that the beautiful thing is the one that is present naturally as compared to a man-made. Okay, so man-made things here could be the bridges on the rivers. Okay, so river here is natural one, whereas the bridge across the river is a man-made. So, naturally it is not present bridge, right? So, that is man-made. So, when we compare bridge to a river, what we find beautiful? We find beautiful is the River flowing across is beautiful as compared to a bridge. So, in that way, she has, given, she has given many such examples where she says about whatever that is existing naturally is beautiful as compared to a man-made things. Okay. So, let's read the poem. Let's just go through the poem once. Okay. Both sail in the rivers and ship sails on the seas, but clouds that sail across the sky are prettier far than these. There are bridges on the rivers as pretty as you please. But the bow that bridges heaven and overtops the trees and builds a road from earth to sky is prettier far than this. So here Christina Rossetti, that is poet, has expressed the beauty of a nature so beautifully that she is being um, explanative about the natural beauty, about the natural beauty that is present. So, she is saying we cannot compare anything compare anything that is man-made to a natural beauty. Okay? So, here she says so let me just explain you the poem both sail in the rivers. So, what is the meaning? 
boats so here boat is man made so we boat is not found naturally it is man made right it is artificial one so it sails in the river and ships sail on the seas so ships ships are also man made so rivers are natural here sea is natural here but the ship and the boat they are man made okay okay so what she is saying there is sailing so both these boat and ship sail in the river as well as she seas okay but clouds that sail across the sky are prettier far than these what she is saying here the clouds that are present so the clouds in the sky are also sailing across the sky right so what do we find more beautiful we find the cloud moving cloud find more beautiful as compared to river or sea okay so as compared to sorry as compared to um, boat and ships so boats are sailing and ships are sailing clouds are sailing so in this case as compared to boats and ships we find clouds more beautiful because that is natural so when we see a clouds going through or passing through the sky across the sky what do we find we find it so beautiful as compared to boats and ship so she is saying are prettier far than these so boats which are sailing across the river and the ships that are sailing across the seas when compared to that the clouds that are sailing across the sky are prettier so she is comparing boat and ship to a cloud okay so she says that the boat and ship are compared with the cloud where she says that clouds are prettier as compared to boats and ships okay then next next stanza so there are bridges on the rivers as pretty as you please so there are bridges on the rivers right so we find them beautiful they are also pretty but the natural things that are present are more prettier okay so there are bridges on the river as pretty as you please so bridges on the river are pretty but the bow that bridges heaven the bow shape okay so what is the uh, here the bow what is the meaning of bow bow is something u shaped okay so here in the first stanza that was a word sail okay so meaning of the word sail is traveling okay so traveling in boat okay traveling in boat or ship is sail okay so that was when we when she compared the ship and the boat along with the cloud so all these three were sailing across the um one that is boat was sailing in the river ship was sailing in the sea and cloud was sailing in the um sky okay so there she found that the clouds are more beautiful as compared to boat or ship so here in the next stanza what she is explaining there are bridges on the rivers as pretty as you please so there are bridges so here the bridges bridges meaning something that is connecting with the other bridges connecting so bridge a gap between so let's say here is a land so here is a land here is a land here is a gap so to bridge a gap between two so it is connecting this land and this land so we are building a bridge over here okay so that is connecting connecting land to land because there might be a river flowing so that is bridging a gap between that is connecting okay so in that case so in the next stanza what uh, poet is saying is there are bridges on the rivers as pretty as you please so bridges on the rivers we find them pretty but the bow that bridges heaven so what exactly is bow here so bow is something that is in the shape of bent u okay something that is in the shape of letter u okay it is bow shaped so in case of rainbow it is like this okay the rainbow is bent u shape so something that is bent u bow is letter u shape so that is bow okay so here what the poet saying is but the bow that bridges heaven and overtops the trees overtop overtop is rise above overtop is rise above so rise above is the one that is above the trees okay so in this case the bow that bridges the heaven that is the bent u shaped bridge that is present okay which is present where it is present it is overtopping the 
trees from earth to sky. So from earth to sky we see a rainbow. So in a rainbow we always see a connection from earth to the sky. So it is in the shape of bow okay or letter u shape which is the bent okay. So see, she is saying and over top the trees and builds a road from earth to sky. So the rainbow is building a road from earth to sky. So here she has done a comparison where she is saying that it is a rainbow to a road. So she is saying it is like a road that is connecting. It is a bridging a gap between earth and the sky. So rainbow is acting like a road here. Okay. A road that is connecting earth and sky is a bridge. So it is connecting earth as well as sky. So she says and overtops the trees and builds a road from earth to sky is prettier far than these. Okay. So here she has compared rainbow to a bridge that is present on the river. So don't you find it really beautiful when you compare bridge with the rainbow? So there exactly what is happening in case of river. So there is a river and there is land. So bridge is connecting the uh, land between the river. So there is in between there is a river and on the both the sides there is land. Okay. So bridge is connecting the gap between those two lands. So that is man-made. Okay. Whereas naturally what is present? So there is a rainbow which is bridge, which is bridge-like, which is acting bridge-like and it is connecting earth to a sky. So the gap there is there is a gap here. So earth to sky, how do we go to sky? So it is just an imagination where she is connecting the rainbow to a road. So there she is saying, so there is a comparison between road to a rainbow where it is acting as a connection that is bridge from earth to sky. So there she is comparing the river um, bridge on the river and then the rainbow on the earth and sky. So that comparison when we compare both of them we find that the natural beauty is more beautiful as compared to a man made. Okay. So that is what she is trying to explain that whatever we find naturally are more beautiful as compared to a artificial ones that is man made one. So we need to be thankful. Okay. Okay, so next we'll discuss the next chapter. So now uh, let's find the class. Thank you all.